There are more lyrical homes ahead on Homes of Note. Engelbert Humperdinck's Spanish Style Mansion is coming up. And next, a longtime rock and roller at his peaceful home, Rick Nielsen and his wife Karen at home near Chicago when we come back. Cheap Trick is a classic rock and roll band that's enjoyed a string of hits since the band got together in the mid-70s. For lead guitarist Rick Nielsen, who has logged hundreds of thousands of miles on tour, home has become a very special place. So he and his wife made sure they designed theirs with tranquility, beauty, and family in mind. to do anything for 25 years, much less hold a rock band together. But Cheap Trick has done it successfully since 1975. They are classic rockers who have logged hundreds of thousands of miles on tour and enjoyed a string of hits since the mid-70s. Off the road, lead guitarist Rick Nielsen can be found at home with Karen, his wife of 30 years in Rockford, Illinois, two hours south of Chicago. We bought this property about 20 years ago. We set our house back in the lot rather than putting it up front. As you come in the driveway, you're forced to come to the front of the house, where there's some of these houses, you know, you go right to the garage. When you come up to our house for the first time, we'd rather have you come to the front door. The style of their 3,200 square foot home is a mixture of English, country, French, and American traditional designs. It's a bit eclectic, things that we've collected over the years and thrown in designer would probably cringe. <laughs> there are few interior walls in the home, something that was important to the Nielsens. They spend most of their time in the combination kitchen, dining room, and family room, a space with an English country feel. In our last house, we had this big, huge place, and everybody spent all the time in the kitchen. So we put in our kitchen. Basically everything Everything we, we have. What unifies the three parts of the room is the ceiling, made of Victorian tin tiles. In the kitchen area, it's a tin, tin ceiling, uh, basically based on the tin of the early 19, 19th century and early 20th century. Then we had it antiqued, too. White is also the color of the kitchen cabinets, and because Rick and Karen are both tall, they designed their kitchen with a little something extra. All of our appliances, our, our, countertops. our countertops are all two inches higher than normal. They raised the counter height, but they lowered the house's ceiling height, and with good reason. Originally, this house was supposed to be a foot taller, but we saved 10% by bringing the ceiling down one foot. It's still high ceilings, but we were going to have a transom all the way around on every door and every window, and it cut our cost for about 10%. Above the dining table is an English chandelier found at an antique store, then rewired for use in the States. A hand-painted fireplace is also in the dining room and adds to the country feel of the room. We had a local artist, Lisa Lindman, come in and she painted it and gave it a finish to make it look really old. And we do use it a lot. We use it all winter long. At the far end of the room, opposite the kitchen area, is a cozy family room designed with deep, warm tones and floral drapes. In the more formal living and dining room, walls are painted a pale shade of green and accented with wood trim. In here, we put vaulted ceilings with the dormers. We put three dormers so there was more light. In the dining area is a stainless steel-based table with a glass top, a true work of art. It's uh, actually two sculptures uh, done by a, a local artist. His name was Gene Horvath. I said, Gene, uh, my wife and I, we need a table. <laughs> and we like your art. So uh, how about making, making some art and turning it into a table? This lamp is one of the couple's favorite finds. We looked at this one lamp and we thought it was just so cool. And man, it was too expensive. It was too expensive. Uh, but man, we can't find anything better. Can't find oh, let's just get it, you know? So we spent the money, and it's like, to this one day, it's one pieces. of the best pieces we ever got. If you see something cool, don't wait till you go back, because you probably won't go back. Opposite the dining area in this same room is a corner Karen designed around a plush, semi-circular sofa with pillows covered in fabrics with animal prints. 
Well, I think it gives it a comfort, a little comfort zone there that people can sit back and relax. Between the main room and the central hallway of the house is a wall of stained glass windows inspired by something Rick saw while on tour. This uh, restaurant I was in had stained glass windows. I mean, when you walk down the hall, instead of a dark hallway, you could see in. So we ordered and designed glass and doors so you could look in so it was lit and the whole room was kind of lit. The master bedroom has its own special look and an English influence. We also have a strong feeling towards uh, England and that library, that smoky, you know, men's club feeling. And I think when you walk in the bedroom, you get that feeling. After joining Rick on a tour, Karen got some ideas about decorating the bedroom. I moved into a slightly Indian theme. It was uh, something that I, I really felt strongly about, and it was a relaxed, you know, comfortable feeling. Though Karen Nielsen decorated most of the house herself, she did turn to a decorator for specific fabrics. Local fabric stores didn't have what I was looking for, and so she was really good to work with. I knew what I wanted, different um, color schemes and weights. In the bedroom, she used the Indian and animal print fabric for pillows and throws. Rick and Karen Nielsen, there is no place like home. It is filled with their personal touch and favorite things. And for Rick, it makes coming home after a long musical journey all the better.